Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I'm going to be showing you some lovely products from Lifeway, and I'm also going to be doing some organisation in my home. So let's get cracking. Hiya, so a company called Lifeway um, contacted me and asked me if they could send me some products. Um, and I thought, yeah, brilliant. I had a look at them, thought, fantastic, just what I need, right? Um, so I thought what I'd do is show you the products and show how I'm going to use them in my house because I've really got to organise some stuff. I live in it, for those of you that don't know, I live in a two-room flat and I get sent stuff all the time. I like shopping myself. So I have now got like the European clothes mountain, right? <laughs> Honestly, it's huge. <laughs> Let's not put away. I've only got, how many tubs have I got? I've got 24 tubs, like um, Ikea tubs in my house, right? That I keep all clothes and all my belongings in really. Everything goes into those. But what I'd like to do is use this, this stuff to be able to put away a lot of my summer things and just keep out the things that I'm actually using at the moment because now I've got so many things. I'm also going to use it as an opportunity to go through and donate a load of stuff in a sort of semi con -mari style, right? Okay. So anyway, I thought I'd show you my tubs first and things that they've sent me. So first, I think this is a laundry basket that they sent me and I'm so happy they have, you know, because... Um, let me put my gigs on because I originally bought this basket. I, it's only that big. I thought it it's going to be sort of this big. I thought it'll be enough for me. No, is it Eckers like? It'd be enough for me if I washed every day, but I don't. I go out at quarter past seven on the morning. I don't get home till like eight o'clock on the night time. The idea I'm going to start putting washing machine on at that time. No, not a chance. So washing stays in the kitchen until a weekend when I crack on with it. So I need a bigger laundry basket. So let's have a look at this and see what it's like. Super excited about it. I love the colours of it. Absolutely love the colours of it. Please let it be a big one. Please let it be a big one. Please let it be a big one. Oh, it's really nice. I love it. Right, okay. Let's sort this out. Wow, this is a good size. Blinking heck. Oh, this is perfect. Let me fold it out first. Uh, wow, that is so big. I don't think these were expensive either. I know they sent them to me for free, but I don't think these were expensive at all. Wow, that is huge. That is bigger than I was anticipating. Look at that. I love the colours of it. It's going to fit perfect into my kitchen because I've got loads of greys and creams and things. So that sort of grey and beigey colour stripes going down. And it's got these lovely like um, unbleached cotton type handles. I really love that. Wow, that's going to be brilliant. That is going to contain all my, um, my washing until I can get around to doing it on a weekend. Instead of me having stuff piled on the top of the basket, so the basket has disappeared now. And it'll stand up lovely in the corner, that. Oh, I'm really pleased. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to link all these in the description box. I'll just move it over there, right? Because it is so huge. Oh, I like the shape of the top as well, look. So it's not square. It's sort of longer, narrower. So it's narrower this way to that way. That's going to be perfect. I know exactly, that'll go exactly where my other one is. Except it will contain all my washing. So fabulous. It feels like it's waterproof on inside as well. Which is just what you need when you want it to put damp towels in there and stuff. And you don't want your laundry basket starting to smell. Really super love them. Right, that one. So let's have a look at these. Because I think these are like storage tubs. I'm hoping they are anyway. I'm sure they were because this is what I'm wanting. What have I got here? Wow, goodness me, look at the size of these. Blinking it, they are big. Right, so they, these are huge. And I've got, how many have I got? I've got three. I've got three, you know. Right, so they're in this grey with brown uh, um, edging on them. They've got handles at the top right sort of or on the side and then a zipped bit on the top where's my zip here we go 
two zips so you can have them wherever you want right zipped bits at the top blooming it they're massive look at that inside and then they've got this window at the front so if you wanted to see what you've actually put inside them these will fit under matthew's stairs right <laughs> just in case you don't know so i live in a flat and matthew hi matthew if you see this god love him i really love my neighbors and matthew is my favorite neighbor right bar none right he's so kind he's a really lovely lovely lad right and he lives above me and I've got two other neighbours who I like very much as well. Right, but anyway, right, we all live in this one house kind of thing that's been divvied up into four flats, except we live above a shop as well, right? Okay, so we're quite high up. Um, and um, Matthew's above me. Now, where is, my, in my uh, kitchen uh, diner, the stairs to Matthew's flat, uh, they're sort of blocked in the bottom of the stairs and go up like this. So whenever I put anything in there, I always say, I'm just going to put this under Matthew's stairs. <laughs> so he's got his own like little area in my house. Just put it under Matthew's stairs. It's not in his flat, it's entirely in mine, but I, I will put it there. These will fit in perfectly as well because they're softer. So, oh, alarm's going by. Because they're softer, they're not rigid. If you had to angle them into quite a... um. A difficult space which that space is you'll be able to get them in goodness me i think i'll be able to fit all my summer clothes in one of these so i'll be i'll see what will fit into the other ones but they are so massive they really are big i could imagine they'd fit under some people's beds as well you know if you had like one of those beds where it's like your mattress tips up my ex used to have one you know what i mean it were broken but anyway he had one um and uh yeah that have got like storage underneath you could put your stuff in these and be able to drag them out really quickly you know really really love those absolutely love them so um yeah so thank you life so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go away and uh, film myself organizing all these blinking clothes starting with tipping the whole lot on my bed right and deciding what i'm keeping what's going away in these tubs and what's going to be donated and then i'll fold them all up in a semi conmari style do you don't know what conmari is right it's this woman called maria Kondo who wrote a book called the life-changing magic of tidying up and she, it was a brilliant book right i've read the book okay and um so what she uh, sort of says is that you should tidy up your house once you should never have to do it again because you only keep things in your life that spark joy okay but what's brilliant about it is not really a method of cleaning up and stuff like that what i liked most out of that book were a method of folding because a method of folding things is just great right once you've learned it that's it you don't fold stuff any any other way i find anyway or certainly i haven't so what i'm going to do is in a semi i'm baking up now in a semi conmari style i'm going to go organize my stuff and put them in these fantastic tubs by life with then get on my washing put in my lovely laundry hamper so i'll insert that footage here and i'll come back to you okay so this is me trying to organize things so i've got my tub here on my bed and i've also that is my bed in fact right so what i'm going to do is fetch clothes that are um, going to end up in that bag or look at the size of it it's nearly, it's nearly half the length of my bed right i've got three of these thank you life lift wit life wit um thank you for these um so i am going to bring some of my clothes and see whether i can sort now particularly my summer weight clothes and also i've realized i've got some christmas jumpers that are going to end up in there as well okay these are all sort of that's like a winter weight dress but these are all summer weight things summer weight shirts that's a winter weight summer weight summer winter summer 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 winter summer right so i'm going to fold these in a minute i'm going to put these back in my tub okay more trousers now i hope you can see me i hope you can um right so these are a lot of trousers some of these are summer weight as well 
sachets that I get from places because they smell nice. Yeah, it still smells. Um, things I haven't worn. Oh my goodness, these are too small, right? These, I managed to get a bargain price. I'm keeping these when I lose weight. So I'm gonna put them over here to go in this tub until I actually have lost that weight and then I can wear them. So what else have I got here? They're okay. These are all gonna go in there. Things I haven't worn or are too small for me. Nope, they're all right. So all these ones are going in here in, and that one as well. So these can go back. Tops. Wow. Goodness me. Put that there. Right, summer. Summer, summer weight. I'm gonna put me going out tops in because at the moment I'm not going anywhere. I'm just working and doing YouTube. So um, they can go there. Yep, they're all summer. That's not, that is. These all need ironing as well, shocking absolutely shocking all right they can all go in there because i'm still going to be wearing those um yeah that can go in there so can that and that summer summer going out tops Uh, going out tops. Keep that for when I've lost a bit of weight because it's a tiny bit like snug. This is lovely, I love this, but that is also quite summery. And then these are all. Is that summer? No, I'd still wear that now. I'd still wear those now. Right, okay, so this is this has all got to go in here. So I'm going to show you a bit of KonMari folding, although she has it all laid out perfect. I'm not going to do that. I'm just folding it as, you know, as it's sort of as I've sort of adapted the KonMari technique, she said spitting. Okay, so you've got to fold over into three, basically, like this. So you get three. And then you fold in half and then I fold one, two, three and your things should stand up like that, okay? Which means that when you put them all in like your tub this way up, you can see exactly what you've got in there. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going with these. I won't film the whole procedure, but I'll film bits of it and then come back to you. Um, once I've got some more in here, because I suspect all that might fit in there, you know. These have still got the tags on. That's because I've been nowhere to wear them. But new year, new me, so I'm just gonna see how I get on going forward. Might even decide to go out with somebody, you know, at some point. Who knows? not gonna happen not for the foreseeable future anyway Okay, when you do trousers as well, how I do it, so this is adapted at KonMari, I just fold them one, one leg into the other leg and then fold them up like this, this is just a tie which I'll tuck in and then over and over again. So that can go in here. Look at the size of these things. I think I'm going to have bags of room after this. 
Right, okay, that's about all my stuff that were on here. I can't believe it's only half filled this tub. So I'm going to go find my Christmas jumpers, lay them on the top. And I think, and any other jumpers that I think I want to put away, some away at cardigans, maybe. Um, and then leave this um, under the stairs. And uh, yeah, and then I've, I'm going to use uh, one of the other ones for my Christmas decorations, I think because there's just so much will fit in and all my stuff that I've bought to put away for next year for Christmas. But I'll just put the last of my jumpers in. Okay, so some Christmas jumpers. I'm just gonna lie everything else on the top. You know, it's like one of those jobs that you think's a good idea in the beginning and then you realise it's just taking too long. So I'm fed up of folding. Thanks, Conmari, Maria Kondo, that I've given up on your little technique. Um, so that, is still not even full look at the size of it wow so i'm going to sort out the rest of my clothing off camera but what i am going to do is bring in my all my christmas decorations get one of the other tubs and put them into and all the stuff that i've saved for christmas and get them put into one of these tubs as well Okay, that's just about all my clothes that I'm going to put away for now. Oh no, that I'm a I'm a fibber. I've got some oh, hang on. More skinnies that I'm keeping for because they're a bit snug at the moment. fantastic handles so that's my first one done i can see what's in there more or less so what i'm going to do now is grab another one and try and put all my christmas stuff in it so they'll all fit under matthew's stairs This is going to mean as well, she said, pulling her pants up. This is going to mean that all these tubs that I've got, I'll be able to free up and put some of the things that I actually use day to day in. So, um, yeah, I just want to get all these put in here. In no particular order. thing well obviously it's a christmas thing Kim they're all christmas things right i'm just going to tip all these christmas decorations on the top of here because they're all plastic so those in 
so some of these are to go in this is a card my daughter bought me which i'm keeping as a decoration for next year i absolutely love it it's really pretty so that's going in this box i'll keep for the top some more decorations and things more plates I haven't got batteries for that yet, so I'll just pop it in here for now. Why those under there, they'll be fine. See what else I've got. I might put this back down till next year. There we go. You see how many tubs I'm of these tubs I'm freeing up just by popping everything in here. Um, that's my little Christmas tree from my backdrop. All my flowers and things for next year. And my lights for my tree. Wow, there's still quite a bit of room in there. needs to go in as well right i've got some other one or two other bits and pieces in but for the most part including my red decorations but i'm going to put those in a bag and then put them in but for the most part that's my christmas stuff done so that'll fit on the top of my clothing because it's the lighter of the two and it's all contained for next year which is great pull the zip along like that so fantastic, they're huge. All my other decorations will fit in there. And so it's all contained. So I absolutely love these. They're great. Love my laundry basket as well. That's absolutely huge. So I'll hand you back to Kim. Oh, wow. I managed to get loads sorted out. Absolutely loads. I'm so chuffed about it. Honestly, I sort of anticipated when I started that it was going to take me forever as well. And it really didn't. It took me a good hour, you know what I mean? But now I've got all my summer stuff put away in my tubs. It's going to be so much easier. When it gets on to the summer, I'll just be able to drag all those out, empty the tub and then put away all my winter clothes ready and, and sort of rotate them that way now. And I absolutely love the tubs that I were given and my laundry basket, which is fantastic. But um, but I'm going to insert all the information for these products and LifeWit in the description box, including that money off coupon. But that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box in case you want to contact me for any reason. And like I say, I'll also link all the information for LifeWit, the money off Cooper, now you can get all to your own things. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!